In our last chapter, we spoke about structures movement, why they move, how they move, how to stop them from moving, uh, and that they contain a property called damping. And really what we're trying to do is improve the damping of that structure to bring that motion under control. So today we're going to talk a little bit more of the details, uh, the nuts and bolts of how these different types of damping systems actually work or, or how they come together and how we help uh, the project designers decide which is the best type of system for their project. The traditional approach of distributed damping, wherein viscous dampers are laid out throughout many stories of the structure, tends to not work so well for high-rise buildings. This is a mature technology for high seismic areas, uh, for low-rise buildings, perhaps manufacturing facilities. But as buildings are getting taller, uh, the economics just don't bear it out. Some of these other approaches of tune mass dampers are more economical, uh, they take up less room, they're easier to maintain, and uh, we'll help you have a better understanding of how these ones work. A TMD, uh, that's an abbreviation for tuned mass damper. Uh, this is a type of tuned device where we take a really heavy chunk of some kind of metal, steel or concrete, and we position it at the point where the building moves the most, generally at the top, and cause it to move around within that structure uh, to absorb some of the vibrational energy that the wind is putting into it. So a TMD is a really good thing to use when you don't have a lot of space. So of all the options available, the tune mass damper is the one that we can make smallest, fit into the tightest package at the top of the building. And let's face it, the top of the building generally doesn't have a lot of room to spare. So although it's the most, generally the most expensive in terms of materials and design and installation effort, it's also the one we can make the smallest. And that allows us to save more space for all of the other features and amenities that we really want at the top of your building. A TSD is another option to use at the top of the building when you've got more space available or when you've got more liberty to reposition the top of house equipment like HVAC chillers and window washing equipment and, and uh, public gathering spaces. So if there's the ability to arrange these to one side and leave a large contiguous area for a tank of water, then a tune sloshing damper or a TSD is going to be the most economical choice. Tuned sloshing dampers might have another advantage that needs to be mentioned as well. Some jurisdictions require rooftop or gravity storage to fire suppression water. So if this is the case and you're going to have a large volume of water at the top of the building anyways, why not change the shape of the tank that it's in to make it contribute some extra supplemental damping to the building? A hummingbird is another variation on a, on a liquid damper. It's based rather closely on an older style called a tuned liquid column damper that we don't use so much anymore. Uh, the hummingbird are long cylinders of water. Now, what makes a hummingbird, I think, more interesting in some ways than the other types of dampers is that although it's, it's also water, uh, it doesn't require that very large contiguous rectangle of space at the top of the building. In fact, the hummingbird is so adaptable that we can position it you know, in floors, uh, above amenity spaces, uh, between pieces of equipment, and really shoehorn it into uh, the available space at the top of the building. It's also good as a retrofit option. So where a building perhaps has had the cladding overhauled and now you know, modern cladding systems tend to not give as much damping to the building, they're higher performance in other ways, uh, now might be a great time to put a hummingbird system up on the roof and get that motion back under control again and reduce the number of days that occupants feel motion or elevators have to slow down due to cable movement. Which type of damping system is the best for your project? Well, that's where we can help you. We've got a team that's done tune mass dampers and tune sloshing dampers in tall buildings all over the world under all the kinds of different constraints you can imagine. So whether you have a lot of space and are looking for the least expensive solution or maybe you've got such valuable space at the top of your building, you don't want to hand it over to a large damper solution and you want it tucked away in some dark little corner of the building, we can help you with that too. In our next chapter, we'll discuss how to make buildings perform their best and some of the tangible benefits that a properly chosen damping system can bring to your structure. I'm Trevor Haskett, Senior Technical Director at Motion Ring, and I'm looking forward to speaking with you about your project.